Welcome to this next section of Node Canvas tutorial. This is going to be a lot deeper than normal Node Canvas stuff because we're going to get into character animation, setting up full characters using Node Canvas for the behavior. But first thing is first, let's set up our scene. So if we go to the asset store, we're using Toon Soldiers. And if you want to look for more characters, go to characters, humanoids, and go free only because of course we have to use free only. The other character we're using is the other Toon Soldier, Fantasy Skeleton and the Dungeon Skeleton. Hopefully I have a link of this package exported for you guys already so you guys can just import that package straight into yours. Now the level we're gonna be working with is in the 3D models of course, make your own fantasy so you can just search that up. But the reason why we're using so many characters for this is because we want these behavior trees to be modular. We want them reusable. When you start making other games or getting deep into the game design or game development, you need things to be modular. When you don't, oh, you hate yourself because you spend so much freaking time redeveloping stuff you already made or copy and pasting and then you want to make a change to all of the characters but you can't because you have different scripts and different behaviors for all of them even if it's a basic walk so by no means am i saying this is going to be perfect this is my attempt to make behavior tree no canvas modular and reusable for multiple characters but hopefully if you got to this point you have all your stuff imported if not going to pause the video and then we'll get started as you can see i'm dragging all four of the characters out and if you check out my folder hierarchy hierarchy i put all four of those assets into character assets to keep things a little bit organized and please ignore the other folders that you may not have like the finish folder i try to make these ahead of time to make sure that i'm giving you guys good content that's done correctly up at the top where my mouse is right now, you can see you can disable things like skybox, the fog, because you don't want all of that crap while you're editing. The next thing we need to do is stop the ability to click on the environment. There's nothing more annoying than trying to click on a character or something and you're clicking on the background. So let me show you guys how to fix that. You can see I created an empty object and I grabbed all of the environment and dragged it in there. Now on that top layer, let's go up to the upper right after you get everything dragged into the environment game object, in the upper right there's layers. Go ahead and set that to environment. After you get everything into the environment game object, let's click on it, go up to the upper right layers, and we gotta have, we gotta create a new layer. So go down to add layer, type in environment. Click back on environment, set that layer to the new layer we just created, environment. Yes, change all children, that's very important. Now in the very upper right where it says layers, environment, click the little lock. You can see you can also make all of it disappear if you want to, but the lock is what's gonna lock it so you can't click on it anymore. Check out that, the most amazing thing I ever learned in Unity. There you go. Now let's get started with all four of our characters at the same time, let's set them up. So if we click on all four of them, go add components. The first thing we're gonna add is a rigid body. The next thing we're gonna add is a capsule collider and there's one more, nav mesh agent. And on the capsule collider, you can go ahead and set the center Y to 1.5 and the height, I think to three. It should be double the, the center. Yes, I do know it, it's a little bit higher than the other guys, but that's really not that important. And here I'm changing the view to isometric just to make sure that all the capsule colliders are perfectly lined up where I want them to be. And of course, the most important component that we need to add is FSM, Finite State Machine Owner. If you've been following these tutorials, you know that we haven't used any Finite State Machines. We're gonna be using Finite State Machines as the upper level for our character's AI. Now the next thing we need to do is set some nav mesh on our terrain, so terrain. So go ahead and click on environment, go down to terrain, and then make sure your navigation is opened, and then click bake. You can see that this scene already has everything set up 
or the bake to be nice, clean, and easy. That concludes setting up our scene. In the next one, we'll start working on those state machines.